types of beans from seed. The first bean is the Scarlet Emperor bean, and the second is a snap pea. So this is a Scarlet Emperor um, bean plant, and it's our biggest one in our garden. And it's only a few months old, and it's being really successful. So now on to the rest of the video. So the first step of planting your seeds is you have to decide where you're going to plant them and prepare the area. So you can plant them in pots and then eventually transfer them to the ground, or you can plant them directly into the ground. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plant them from seed to the ground. And I've chosen this area to work with. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of weeds. So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to weed the area, and then I'm going to plant. So the way that I weed is I really want to make sure that I get all the roots from the weed out. Because if you don't get all the roots out, the weed is just going to grow back a few days later. So how I do this is I put my shovel in near the base of the weed. And I dig in quite deep so that I make sure that I get the roots. And then I lift up. And then usually the weed will come up with a block of soil. So I don't want to waste my soil by throwing it away. So I'm just going to gently hit it. And then you get your weed and its roots. And that's really important that you get the roots. So one big thing that you don't want to do when you're weeding is you don't want to just pull it like this. Because if you pull it like this, again, you're not going to get any of the roots. And it's just going to grow back a few days later. So even though I may not be using the whole area that I weeded, it's still a really good idea to weed your garden regularly. So now let's move on to the planting portion. So I just need my seeds and my shovel. So these big seeds are the Scarlet Emperor seeds. And these smaller seeds are the snap peas. So it's important when you are using, when you're planting your seeds, that you look out for seeds like this. Now you can't use seeds that are split in half because they're not gonna grow. But seeds like this, where the coat is slightly peeling off, where the seed casing is kind of peeling off, that's completely fine. So these seeds I soaked overnight and just to help with germination. That is completely optional, but I just choose to do it. So I want to take my shovel and I'm going to plant my Scarlet Emperor first. So I want to plant a pretty deep hole. And for beans, you want to space them about six inches apart because they grow upwards, they grow tall, and they don't really spread sideways that much. So it's okay to plant them pretty close together. So that's a pretty good hole. I want to take a bean and I just want to put it in. And then I cover it up and take all the leaves out as I go and any extra weeds if I see any. So now I want to put one about six inches apart. So as you might have seen, I just pulled out a root, and it's really important that as you're digging, if you see any big, long roots, you want to take them out. And try and take out the entire root instead of just pulling off part of it. Because if you leave the root or leave a portion of it, it'll grow back, and it will stunt your beans' growth. It'll block their soil, and it'll prevent them from growing through. Um, big enough. So now I'm going to plant my sweet peas. And I want to plant it about one and a half feet from my last row because you don't want them to be too overcrowded on all sides of the plant. So if you see here, there's another long root. 
and I want to take that one out. And I do the same thing that I did with the other one. I dig a hole and I bury it. And then I plant about six inches of Now let's take a look at the ones in the ground. So this is a Scarlet Emperor, and they're all germinating, and they're getting pretty big. And one really important thing about growing beans is that you have really tall stakes for them. Because the Scarlet Emperors will grow really tall. And if they don't have anywhere to climb, they'll fall and they'll climb onto other things, such as your other plants, and kill them. So it's really important that you give them sticks to be able to grow on. Let's move on to the sugar snaps. So as you can see the sugar snaps are a little bit smaller because that's just the type of plant they are. The Scarlet Emperor just grow faster in general and they grow taller as well. So the sugar snap also needs sticks because they're going to climb as well and they produce some really pretty flowers. Hi there! So I just wanted to show you an example of what the beans will look like once they're fully grown. So these are my Scarlet Emperor beans that I harvested from my older plants. And once your sprouts grow a lot bigger, they'll start to develop some really pretty red flowers. And those red flowers will turn into a lot of beans. And once these beans are ready, you can pick them and eat them. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!